in us, and His love is brought to perfection in us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one check, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloth, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lumaki ako sa kasabihan na pag binato ka ng bato, batuhin mo ng tinapay. Yan ay palatandaan ng pagmamahal. Ginawa ko yan nung ako elementary na office ako. Dahil nung ako binato ng bato, binato ko ng tinapay, sinama ko ang garapon. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, to talk about love according to the gospel is so easy if you have not been hurt. If you have not been hurt. I was talking to a brother priest who abandoned everything and embraced the priesthood. And after a several years in the congregation, he was being persecuted in the very congregation he loved. He has to leave it behind. At first, when we were trying to discern, sabi ko sa kanya, do you really need to leave behind the priesthood? Or you can only leave behind the congregation? It took some time for him to pray about it, and he decided, I am called to be a priest. He continued, 
And after several years, we talk again and I said, Kumusta ka niya? Sabi lang niya, I know I have forgiven them. But every time I thought about them, the anger, the hurt continue to come back. And I only said, well, every time the hurt came and returned, <clears throat> every time you re-experience the hurt, then you continue to forgive. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, love is not an emotion that many, many people have learned about. Christ redefined love as ordering oneself for the good of the other. Love is to order ourselves for the good of the other. I would accept and humbly accept that to leave behind material things for God is not that too difficult. To leave behind a career, to leave behind a good salary, name it, it is not that too difficult for God. To live in poverty out of love is not that difficult for God. Maybe I would say, to hate your father and mother, leaving them behind, it's a little difficult, but not really that difficult after all. The most difficult teaching that God wants us to embrace is to love your enemies. That's the most. If you can say, if you will tell me, ay madali lang yan, Father, then I tell you, you have not been hurt that much. If you are say you are able to love your enemies, then you are not that hurt that much. Madali lang yan sabihin sa mga taong hindi nasaktan ng gusto. Sa mga taong nagbigay ng tiwala at sinira ito. Sa mga taong nagbigay ng pagmamahal na hindi ito sinuklian ng pagmamahal. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, Yes, what you give is the very measure that is being given back to you. And perhaps, perhaps, that is the challenge of today. As Mother Teresa of Calcutta have said this, the difficulty of loving other people is you give the other person the power to hurt you. The difficulty of loving the other person is to give the other person the power to hurt you. Because the only person that can hurt you are those whom you love. Your enemies cannot hurt you. Your enemies can never hurt you. Only those whom you love. Betrayal can never be done by enemies, only by friends. That's why anything, anything wrong that is done by someone you love, it hurts you. And the more you love, the more it hurts. That's why when God says, love your enemies, you know, God is not only asking what your hands can hold. God is not only asking the comfort, perhaps the relationship the world can offer. God is asking the totality of your being. Unless you love me with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your being, with all your strength, you can never be my disciple.